Hi, I'm Tammy, and I do math for coffee. Today we're going to find the area of this triangle. Now the area of a triangle formula is pretty easy. It's one half base times height. But the reason that this problem is a high school problem and not a middle school problem is because you don't know the base and you don't know the height. So we have to use some other tools to find it. Well, in the diagram, this is the height and this is the base and the height is perpendicular to the base. So we actually are getting this thing split into two right triangles. So we'll be able to use right triangle tools like Pythagorean theorem or right triangle trigonometry. I'm gonna use the trigonometry tools for this video, mostly because I like them. They're fun to use. I think Pythagorean theorem can be a little clunky. So in order to find the whole base, we need to find the bottom side of each one of these two triangles. So we've got two separate problems here. We actually have three problems because we have to find the height as well. All right, let's start on this side, but I just know I have to start on this triangle because it's the only one that has a side length. If you look over on the other triangle, the only thing you have here is this 53 degree angle. You have no sides, so you can't use any tools yet. We're going to find X first and then we'll find H. I am going to use trig, so I need to find my trig tools. So 28 degrees, the X in relationship to the 28 degrees is the adjacent side. The 23 is the hypotenuse, so you got to pick the right tool. I have an A and an H, so the only one right here, cosine. This is, the, this is the trig ratio that uses adjacent and hypotenuse. Sine uses opposite and hypotenuse, and tangent uses opposite and adjacent. Cosine of 28 degrees equals, the x is the adjacent side, so that goes on top, over the 23, which is my denominator. That's the trig setup. Now from here, we're just gonna use algebra to sol simplify this. I'm gonna multiply both sides by 23. And when you multiply X over 23 times 23, the 23's cancel out. I'm, I'm doing this in my head, I'm not gonna write it out. 23 times cosine of 28 degrees equals X. Some people would like to figure out what this trig ratio is at the beginning. I don't do that, I think it slows you down. If you grab your calculator right now, type 23 times the cosine of 28 degrees, or whatever the syntax needs to be for the model you're using, you can get this all in one step. So when I do that, I got 20.3. Okay, of the three numbers we have to find before we can even do the area, we got one of them now, 20.3. On this side, we still have to be using this to get the hypotenuse of 23. We still need that to be able to find the height of this triangle. From the 28 degrees, the height is the opposite side. Opposite and hypotenuse, you are gonna use sine. So we are gonna use the sine of 28 degrees equals the height opposite over the hypotenuse, which is 23. Now, multiply both sides of this equation by 23 to get rid of the fraction. You end up with 23 times the sine of 28 equals h. This is when you grab your calculator. 23 times the sine of 28 degrees is 10.8. Okay, cool. We're making some progress. Now we've completely solved this side, the triangle that's on this side. Now flip over to the other one. We're gonna try to find this length and then we'll be able to know the whole base. Because I'm super creative, I'm gonna name this guy Y. The 10.8 is sitting right next to that angle, so this is the adjacent side, and the Y is across from it, so this is the opposite side. Pick the right tool. You have opposite and adjacent, TOA, tangent. Tangent's my favorite trig ratio. I do not know why. Tangent of 53 degrees equals y over 10.8. Multiply both sides by 10.8, and you're gonna get y equals 10.8 times the tangent of 53 degrees. Grab your calculator and figure that out. 
and I got 14.3. All right, that's going to go here. Now, we have all the pieces and parts. We just need to find the area now. But we can figure out what the whole base is if we add these two together. We already knew the height. So that'll be the base. So let's write up what we know. So the next line would be 0.5. I just changed one half to a decimal. The base, the entire length, is now 34.6. And the height is 10.8. Multiply these three numbers together and you have your answer. And I got 186.8. Yay! I don't think this problem is hard. It's just it's got a lot of steps to it. it. And sometimes that makes it seem more complicated than it is. If you would like to see that lesson where I'm going over the, le the actual trig ratios, what they are and how they work, click into this video next. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!